all right we have done with the project setup and fold setup and then we'll continue from here before starting writing the feature file and if you observe my vs code you could see these icons and also you would see some auto suggestions in order to get that go to your extensions i would recommend couple of extensions that you need to install in your vs code those extensions are mandatory first one is a cucumber this one will help us the uh, you know highlight those syntaxes and all and this cucumber gherkin is also important for us two things third one have it es linked third one and the final one is the code snippet okay i will tell you the what is the use of it these four and this is optional vs code icons what happens is when you create any file it will give the relevant icons like this okay this is optional but have it yeah so these four just have it installed these plugins and then it will be helpful for you these four extensions okay so now go to your feature files it's time for us to create the feature file so here i'm gonna make it login dot feature okay done okay so now in order to save the time okay so we will simply copy this okay we'll paste it okay just to save the time okay rather than typing everything and then wasting the time so better we'll just copy paste it so feature is login functionality and given the user is on the login page when the user enters wall credentials and click on the login button they should be directed to the dashboard other than dashboard let's say home page and the welcome message and see a welcome message this is a scenario okay so we know that this has nothing to do with it because we behind the logic we have to return it's in a spec files okay so in order to do that you don't need to do anything from the scratch okay what you could do you could run this and see what is happening okay so let's try running it the command is npx cucumber js test okay say hit enter okay so this is expected zero scenarios zero steps the reason being is we have defined the cucumber json but we have not provided any options here um, that means where is my feature files where is my spec file i did not specify anything okay so in order to do that we have to add some options in the cucumber json okay so remember this is present under the root directory okay your project root directory is it mandatory to keep the cucumber json in the root directory no not a mandatory okay so when the config concept comes we will see how we can change the location of the cucumber.json and you may ask is that json file is only a mandatory don't we have any other things means no we can create the any type of file like you can create cucumber.js uh, cucumber.mjs like this different options are there we will see in the future okay so the json is always preferable and easy to use that is the reason we are using the cucumber json file okay this configuration file you can keep it anywhere and in any format okay so let's keep it in the cucumber.json in the root folder as of now okay let's try adding the option the first option is default okay so what are all the the things that will be coming here we will be noting it down here the first one i will be adding is paths okay so here it is going to be array that means you can provide any number of paths okay it is recommended to have all your features in the same directory i mean from here you can create any number of folders inside of it okay so copy relative path paste it so src test features okay let's try running it and see if it is able to identify or not okay there you go it is identified right okay which is very good so now it is saying hey boss you are trying to run these uh, steps but i don't find any relevant uh, step definition please make sure it is available right 
okay u means it's undefined okay so let's copy this and create our spec files so i'm going to create a new file under the specs new let's say login dot spec dot ts okay what we will do we'll simply copy these things okay as i said earlier in the beginning you don't need to write from the scratch it is giving you the auto suggestions okay let's clean up of this one this is not needed we need given we need this one and we need this one and we need this one done and the final one is this and definitely when you are using these given when then they are present under the cucumber library right we have to import it so keep the cursor over here and let's see if it is giving any suggestions no it is not giving any suggestions right let's try writing import from at the rate cucumber and it is going to be given when and then right so cool we got our import statement and we have imported all the things which are required for us now given when then okay let's try running it now and see what will happen so do you think that it will work no it will not work let's see okay still it is saying okay i don't find these undefined steps i need these things to be available i want uh, this step definition to be implemented so that i can execute them the reason being is we specified the path but we did not specify the where these things are present okay so the option is require the option is require as i said earlier it is array you can specify any number of paths like feature file for example another feature will present in different place you can specify like this but recommended is have it in one place and let the cucumber pick it from there and execute it but you can provide multiple options okay so where is our step definitions under the specs file in spec folder right so go to here copy relative path and then paste it so obviously backslash okay let's try running it and see if it is able to identify it and pick cucumber js test Still, it is not able to identify it. Okay. I have to tell that this could be present under any directory. That will be the format of dot spec dot ts. You can specify the formats like this. Okay. So that it will recognize it. Because we are writing in the ts. So definitely we have to tell, right? Because it is not going to know whether it is js or ts. Okay. It is saying cannot use the import statement out of outside of the module. Okay. So this I will explain you in the separate video itself. What is uh, ES5 and ES6 and when do you get these kind of errors? Okay. So let's try and fix this one. Okay. Go to your packet.json. Here we will specify. It is not mandatory to specify. Let's keep it as a common JS. Okay come over here scroll up you should be able to see common js that should be fine and it is going to be es 2016 that is also fine or es 6 let it be es 2016 and try running it and see if there is any luck Still no luck. Let's see what is the issue. Okay, and here type command.json. ts.config is also fine. It is 2016, 2020 is fine. Cucumber.json. Yeah, the reason is you have dot ts file, right? So it has to be one more option present over here. That is nothing but your requires module. Requires module is needed because we are writing our step definitions in the ts file okay so here it is going to be ts node slash register okay this is mandatory let's try running it and try our luck oh 
okay success okay why it is coming like this because in the step definitions right we are just simply returning the pending and then pending like that we can implement this now okay so the reason is make sure that you add this option in the cucumber JS json if you are using the ts files if you are not using ts if you are using json uh, dot ts uh, dot js that's fine but if you are using dot ts typescript definitely you need this command to be run okay so now let's go back to your login spec and try implementing this i will say log I will try to copy paste the same thing. Here the step is login page. Same thing. Console log. User is on enter the wall credentials. We are good. Same thing. We'll quickly do this. Click on the login button. This should be directed to home page. Home page. I think we are good. Okay, so now, now let's try running it one more time. Let me close all these terminals. No terminal. Okay, so now npx cucumber js. Okay, you could see we are getting our output. Okay, so one passed and five steps also fast. There is one scenario passed and the five steps in it. Okay, so we are successful now. Uh, what we have done in this video, creating a sample feature file. Okay, so we are not going to discuss what is anti pattern, what is good pattern, what is the best way to write BDD. You can Google it. Okay, so we just did a sample feature file and also we created a spec file okay and that ts folder that ts uh, extension and within the spec folder and go to your package.json remember this what is mean by type common js what is mean by module we are going to discuss in a separate session okay so why we get the error like you should import and this export and input doesn't work we will discuss in a separate session okay and go to your ts config file this should be your years 2016 it should be common js in the cucumber three options are very much mandatory to begin with one is path where you are feature files are present okay better way will be you tell that okay it could be anywhere from here it could be anywhere from here okay dot feature extensions the file which are having dot feature as extension you pick up that okay and the same thing in this path whatever you see with the dot spec dot ts that is going to be my step definition so you find all your corresponding uh, step definitions related to these steps under the this folder which folder this folder extension is this one so definitely you're using typescript we need ts node a runtime environment for our ts files so this option is mandatory okay so that's all for this particular video thanks for watching